Hey guys, in this quick video, we're going to look at how you can do factorials and permutations in either Excel or StatCrunch. We're going to use this problem here as an example. You have eight different video games. How many different ways can you arrange the games side by side on a shelf? Now, I know this is going to be either permutations or factorials. Um, it's, it's permutations because I have a set number of items and I need to place them. And order matters because after I place the first game, I won't place it again, so that that one's done. And then I only have seven left to, to go next, and then six after that. This is also considered a factorial because if you have a certain number of items and you place all of them, it's a factorial. Um, so we're going to do both. It doesn't really matter which one you do. You're going to get the same answer. Let's do StatCrunch first. And StatCrunch isn't down here, but if you click on uh, Get More Help, I'm going to open up StatCrunch. Let's say we want to do permutations first. You're going to go to data, compute, expression. In the expression bar, type in perm. And we have eight total video games, and we are going to place eight total video games, all of them. So hit compute, and there it is. There's your permutations for 40,320. If you felt like doing this uh, via factorial instead, you would do compute, expression, and you would type in fact. And then just eight, because uh, in a factorial, you start with a certain number, in this case, eight, and you multiply down until you get to one. So eight times seven times six times five times four times two times three, one. And uh, as that crunch knows, that's what we want to do when we type in factorial. We want to multiply down from eight. And either way, we're going to get 4320. This is a special circumstance. You won't always get the same thing with you when you use permutations and factorials. The only time that they are interchangeable is if you place all of the items that you have. In this case, we had eight video games and we had to put them all on the shelf. So permutations worked and factorials worked. It only works if you do them all. If I had eight video games and I only wanted to put five on the shelf, I could not use factorials. I would only use permutations. But let's take a look at how you can do it in Excel. So if you want to do permutations in Excel, you're going to type that in an empty cell in your formula bar. Take it, type in permute. And then we have eight video games, comma, eight of them are getting placed, close parentheses. There it is. If you want factorial in your formula bar, do equals fact, just the number eight, and there it is.